So typically the coaches that I work with are soccer coaches who currently have training businesses. So they're working with clients one-on-one -on -one, in small groups, in group, open groups, uh, they're running camps, they're running clinics, and now they want to add the futsal training as an extra part of the business. So futsal at the moment is very popular. It's one of the fastest growing types of, of, of football in the market at the moment uh, for a number of reasons. I think there's a lot of uh, player development benefits to futsal, and that's why a lot of coaches are implementing it into their business to make their clients better. Uh, a lot of research has also been done on the benefits of, of playing futsal. So it's, it's a really great service to offer if you want to start a, a business. And also a lot of coaches that are in, in parts of the world where winters are very uh, cold, are very wet, uh, there's a lot of snow, and they have to go indoors because that's the only way they can continue to train um, their clients. Uh, this is a fantastic alternative to offer them. Step is research the market. Okay, you have to see if there's demand for futsal training. Now, even if you have customers at the moment, okay, they might not want to do futsal training. Okay, a lot of Parents out there don't even know what futsal is. They, they're not really educated about the benefits of this type of training. So one thing I would recommend you doing is that if you currently have clients at the moment that you're working with and you want to get them into futsal or you, or you want to offer futsal as an extra service, I would have a, a team meeting. So a meeting with parents and players and what you can do, it could be an in-person meeting or it could be a meeting done through Zoom and do a presentation on what futsal is, okay? Use it as an opportunity to present yourself as the expert and explain to them the benefits that this type of training has on players, okay? And give them examples of professional footballers that have played futsal, okay? There's in multiple countries across the world, in Spain, in Brazil, in Argentina, in, in other parts of Europe, okay, a lot of players at the younger ages play futsal before they get into 11-a-side uh, football. So there is a lot of benefits to it, and there's a lot of uh, footballers, professionals, that have played it or have used this form of training to get their game to the next level. So present to parents, okay, put on a presentation. If you're currently working with customers and you want to offer this as an extra, put a presentation, talk about the benefits to them and have them ask any questions and have them have them questions answered there and then. Okay, so that's the first one. Research the market. Is there demand for it in my area? Is someone doing it already? Uh, would parents invest money into it? But not just that, what value can this service add to player development? Okay, if there's no value, then parents won't do it. So what value does it add to the players that I want to offer this service to and to the parents of these players? Okay, the second one is register your business. Now, there's two ways you can go about this, okay? Okay. Some coaches, what they do is they will create an entire separate business, which is just for futsal training. And they will have their other soccer training business as the other business. Okay, so essentially they register the futsal training business as one and the soccer training business as another. So there's two separate businesses, um, separate entities. Now, you can do that. That's one way to do it. And the same way you registered and set up your training business would be the same way you would set up your futsal training uh, business as well. We've got tons of videos on that. So go back and uh, look at ways to register your business uh, legally. Now, that would be the second one. Also, coaches. So 
some coaches, what they do is they have them as, as separate entities or they have it all as one. So they will have their soccer training business and they'll just add it as an extra service, maybe in the winter or the spring or whenever uh, on and keep it all within in, in-house. There's not really the best a best way to do it. It just depends on your preference. Okay, Some coaches like to have two separate businesses. Others just want everything in one. Okay, the third one is find the training location. Obviously, if we're talking about futsal, it, ha it will have to be an indoor facility uh, to use. So first thing I would do, go onto Google, type in indoor facilities in my city and have a look at what is in the market at the moment. Okay, This will have a an effect on whether you can set up your business because if there's no indoor facilities available, then essentially you can't really offer futsal training as, as a service because futsal training is normally an, a futsal court, which is indoor, okay? Now, there are other alternatives. You can use uh, schools, you can use church halls, uh, you can use sports center gyms, Right, so there are alternatives that you can use, but if you're in a in a city that you don't have those those options, then it's going to be very difficult <clears throat> to offer this as a service. Uh, in Spain, for example, where I'm currently based at the moment, uh, there's a lot of outdoor futsal courts. Okay, because futsal in Spain is very popular, and there's a lot of schools and a lot of facilities that you can run futsal training outdoors. But in most parts of the world, usually it's indoors, uh, but just research your area, see where you can run your, your training sessions. Now, the fourth one is offer taster sessions to your current clients or clubs. So I've already talked about presenting it to your current customers. Now, another alternative is going into local clubs and offering it as a service. So you might go, go into your local club and present it and offer free taster sessions for all the teams at their club. Okay. Again, what I would do if I was in a position of starting this, I would try and get in contact with the decision maker at the club. So it could be a director of coaching. It could be the president. Ideally, you want to talk to the president or the director and put on a presentation about what your company does, what you're willing to do or what you want to do with their teams and their players and why your futsal training is going to help them to get better. If there's no value, then the club essentially, even though it's free, they won't want to do anything with you. Okay. Usually when, when someone offers something for free, it's because they're trying to provide a service, which later on down the line, uh, it's an opportunity for two people to work together. So if a com if a club sees that even though your, your sessions are free, but they don't really add any, any value, then they won't do it. Okay. So present to the club, demonstrate your expertise on the futsal training topic the benefits of it and how your players are going to improve from here to there with that training. Okay. That would be my recommendation. Uh, you can also go into youth organizations, right? So it could be a YMCA and offer sessions to them as well. Okay. But go out there, get in front of people, demonstrate your uh, expertise in the, in the niche of futsal and why it's a benefit and why players and players, players and, and kids, youth players should be doing futsal in order to improve their, their technical skills, their confidence, um, and so on. Right now, the fifth one is once you start to get a service going and once you start to get interest, okay, it's, it's structuring together training packages. So this could be three months, six months, or 12 month packages that you can offer to potential customers. So if you're working with a, a club team, right, maybe the winter is a great season to be able to offer that. So it might you might want to offer a three to four month package for them, right, where they can train with you throughout 
the the winter season okay if it's a futsal clinics or a futsal indoor academy that you're looking to run so weekly sessions okay this could be a monthly subscription roll-on uh, membership that you could do All right so structuring your packages structuring how you're going to be charging your customers would be the fifth way in order to start a futsal training academy business okay so if you need more help reach out to me uh, love to connect with you at the moment, working with a load of uh, coaches, especially in the in the football soccer niche with their business. So if, if this is something that you've watched this video, you want to get in contact with me, let's connect. Okay, description below this video, how you can connect with me directly. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.